good? All right. Shalom, shalom. Real Hebrew Israelites coming week in, week out to prophesy the downfall of America and this society. We're going to start off giving all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, and Kakadash. Double honor to apostles and elders and GMS and brothers that sincerely doing this work and a few sisters that are listening and learning and being obedient to their husband. We back out here in the streets, man, prophesying again the downfall of this place. And brothers is bringing out good points about how Eli Musk has got to prove for, to put the MOTV in your brain. So that's another prelude of, the, of this, the, the end times, man, showing you that we almost out of this place, you know? Because the Lord is making sure he's showing his prophecies, man. You know? Because that's, that's what's going on, man. You're, you're seeing the, the, the coming of the Lord right in front of your face. But these people is refusing to listen, man. No, go ahead. It's Isaiah chapter 48 and verse 3. I have declared the former things from the beginning, and they went forth out of my mouth, and I showed them. I did them suddenly, and they came to pass. Because I knew that thou art obstinate, and thy neck is an iron sinew, thy brow brass. Which is stubborn. Our people are stubborn as all hell, man. Still part. This might grab uh, Revelation 1 and 1. It says, verse 5, I have from the beginning declared it to thee. Before it came to pass, I showed it thee. Lest thou shouldest say, my idol have done them, and my graven image and my molten image have commanded them. Now the Heavenly Father is telling me, like, look. I declared the end was going to be happening in the end days from the beginning. Let's you credit that to any other thing, man. And what did the brother just mention? He mentioned how uh, Elon Musk was just approved by the Food and Drug Administration, I believe that's the FDA, to put brain chips in people. And what's those brain chips that they're trying to put in people for buying and selling, for storing information? According to Revelation 13th chapter, that's the M to the O to the T to the B, hey, the mark of the beast. And that's an end time uh, prophecy that's taking place right before our time. So what is the Lord doing? He's showing you that, hey, hey the end is here, and he's going to come. So right. you read that Revelation 1. So this is Revelation chapter 1, verse 1. It says, the revelation of Yahweh shine, which Yahweh gave it to him, to show it to his servants, things which must shortly come to pass. So this is the book of Revelation. Uh, John the uh, Revelator, he was receiving a prophecy of what's going to happen in the end. And what's that written? Can somebody grab Revelation 13? Um, matter of fact, read, keep, keep, keep reading real quick. All right, it says, And he sent and signified it by his angels unto the servant John, who bear record of the word of Yahweh and of the testimony of Yahweh's son and all things that he saw. Exactly. So he's, he's getting, basically he's seeing the future. He's seeing all the things that's about to take place that we are um, in right now. That's what he's all seeing, man. You know, keep going. Verse 3. Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of his prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. So it says to keep the words of his prophecy because the time is at hand. We see in the times coming to pass where these things are happening. It's whether you go listen or not. But guess what? We're going to let it be known like the prophet's supposed to do. Come out here and prophesy the downfall of this kingdom. Letting you know the things that's about to come. And that's one of the things that's coming, which is the MOTB. So, hey, man, if you don't take this serious, you will be destroyed. Right. The Lord is only coming for his elect. And he said, my sheep should hear my voice. So only the elect is going to wake up and run with this. Yeah, Revelation 13, is it a uh, chip? <coughs> Go ahead. Yeah, 16? Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. It's Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. Put the miracles. Well, did then somebody just get a brain chip to show them how to walk again? Mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah. Man. Revelation chapter 13, verse 14. And he deceiveth them that dwell on earth by the means of those miracles. Exactly, he using them miracles. Somebody just got a brain chip put in him to teach him how to walk. He was a he's a paraplegic and now he's walking. So and so you know a lot of people gonna be like, wow, I can walk again. I just gotta put this in my head. People are gonna start taking it and eating it up. You know, certain people who can't see, they're gonna, oh, I can see again. But this is Satan putting this in you. Uh-huh. Hey, and he's disguising it under uh science. Oh, uh, this new breakthrough in science. We can make you walk. 
again. We can uh, heal you of this infirmity and so forth. But no, true healing comes from the Heavenly Father. What he's doing is something very sinister, man. He's trying to enslave all you people by putting that chip in you. Exactly. And he's playing God. So that's how you know who, who is the devil. These so-called white people, man. They're the devil that the Bible speak of. They're the Edomites. That's right. That's what they are. I the one you. You know? So and, and and he's gonna get as many as he can to come follow his agenda. And he's gonna use it by the way of the miracles. Hey, if I can I read this for you really oh. quick? Because hey, this is um this is a post from Lil Duval. Lil Duval, he's a he's a clown, he's a comedian. But this is something he posted earlier today. <coughs> and I'll show the camera really quick. Make sure you show the other camera. Uh. Yeah, this guy Lil Duval, he said right now, it's like, he said, um, if they can, can convince half the country into getting the JAB in less than a year, they can convince you into wanting a microchip inside you. He goes on to say, right now, y'all saying fuck that microchip, but eventually you going to get it. Just like everything else you swore you would never do. He goes on to put the caption on the photo they posted. He say, I know I'm getting a microchip in my brain, but I'm going to wait till the first batch of people die first. Yeah, cause just like the uh, the one-two jab. All they had to do was tell, threaten to, to take your job away. If you didn't take it, it would lie you went and did it. Fold it. Yeah, fold it easy. Mm -hmm. And then when you go in the comment section, there's just two. I didn't get to read all of them. This dude named DJ Empire Life. I'm getting version three or four for show. Can't wait to start my car by snapping my fingers and fly by you, uh, <laughs> P-words at TSA, because they scanned my chip when I checked my bags outside. It said, this other guy, he said, they offer us a check and it's up. Hey, if I, can I grab, I'm gonna grab two really quick, because the prophecies of the Lord, they're speaking. Now, we start one. This Habakkuk verse 2, I mean chapter 2 verse 1, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me. Hey, the Lord said a watchman to warn his people, man. In the ancient world, you had watchmen that watched out and made sure everything was, was safe, you know, and they blew the horn. You know, they lifted up their voice and they was like, look, trouble is coming, right? Hey, here in these end days, the Lord has sent prophets to warn the people. And if you are wise, you would listen, right? And what? I shall answer when I am reproved. Mm -hmm. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision. Make it plain upon table that he may run that readeth it. And they what's the vision? These prophecies, man. And what are we doing? We telling you what's gonna happen. Hey, prophesy to say before. All right? For the vision is yet for a point in time. Yep. But at the end it shall speak mm -hmm. and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it. Because it will surely come, it will not tarry. You see, hey, hey, what we're reading here in Revelation, the 13th chapter, hey, it's happening, man. The prophecies are coming to pass, man. So that's a sign of the times, man. And that microchip is one of the major end time prophecies that take place. You see? All right, this Matthew 24 and 24, for there shall arise false Christ and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders and so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. God, so uh, like we was going into that chip, all right? There's gonna be great miracles coming out of here. Like the brother said, people walking, all right? It's gonna be people, uh, what, people seeing again who never seen or deaf, who can hear now, right? And, and if it was possible, it would see the very elect. But that yeah. come from uh, um, staying in the truth of the Lord, they ain't gonna deceive us, all right? Yeah, yeah, that's why I said those that don't worship the beast, beast in his image or take that, uh, that, that MOTB and say it should be killed. Meaning, you know, people physically getting killed for rejecting that MOTB and two, the way of being killed is uh, being cut off from society, man. All right? That's what's going to happen to those who don't want to uh, comply with T-Saw's wicked agenda, man. That's right. Go ahead, finish that up. Uh, Revelation chapter 13, start at 14 again. And deceive them that dwell on earth by the means of those miracles when he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell upon uh, Salakia, on the earth, that they should make an image to the beast 
which had the wound by a sword and did live. Exactly, man. Because they, they, this is what they're going to use, man. They're going to use this so-called falsified demonic technology they're going to use to get you people, man. And y'all going to eat it up. Verse 15. And the power to give life unto the image of the beast, the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast shall be killed. Exactly, and they're gonna be doing a lot of slaughtering yep. to you people who don't take it. Yeah, mentioned uh, Revelation 20, it said, John, uh, Revelation seen the beginning that those who didn't uh, worship the beast in his image. You know, it's kind, you know. And like I said, you know, they're gonna, uh, gonna be cut off from society because you're not gonna be able to uh, live pretty much about that uh, MOTV, man. They showed you that in uh, Demolition Man, the ones who did, um, cause they had the, the, the chip in, in, them, in them, man. All right, the ones in the underground, they rejected that, man. All right? And then, you know, Esau, knowing him, you know, he was looking to kill those people that were uh, underground because with this devil, he wants all souls. The ones who don't buy it out, he won't get rid of you, man. Okay. Uh, it's uh, Revelation chapter. The beast in his image? Uh, it don't matter. Okay. Yeah, yeah, finish. Um, yeah, finish 13. 13. Yeah, um, Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. It says, And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Exactly, and that's what they're gonna receive. That's, <laughs> that's the whole brain chip and the chip they wanna put in your hand. That's the MOTB. You take it, you're gonna be destroyed by the Heavenly Father. <laughs> that's just what it is. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans and the speckled birds, the ones that look like the other nations, but they are the, the, uh, the descendants of, uh, from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yeah, good. Those who take that, uh, that MOTB, you're saying that Esau's your God and not the Lord. Exactly. Can I, I, this uh, Revelation 13 and 16, that word uh, for Mark is G5480 Karagma. It says a stamp, an imprinted mark. It says the mark stamped, which ultimately is an imprint, it's something that's going to go in you. But it says the forehead or on the right hand as a badge of the followers of the anti Messiah. And ultimately, if you take that, that see him, you denounce the Heavenly Father, and you say Esau, even the self-proclaimed white man, is your God, yep. if you take it. It says a thing carved, sculpted, engraving works. But um, you go into the root of that word, it's uh, Karax, G5482. It says a pale or a stake, a palisade. It says a uh, palisade. I believe a palisade is like a, uh, like a fence post. It's like a wooden post, and it's sharpened at a tip. Yeah. That's the delivery system, right? Uh -huh. Going to the root of that is G... Uh, 1125 grapho it says to write to delineate uh, to the form of the letters it says it says to express in written records to write to feel with writing to draw up writing so what is the scriptures telling you put it together this M to the O to the T to the B is something that's gonna physically go in your skin and you're gonna be able to it's gonna have whole information and they the scriptures say you're gonna have to buy and sell with it man and what's happening man hey the, the currency is going digital People are, hey, hey, these nations, all these nations around the earth, as well as Babylon and Great America, is, is turning everything digital. Why? So, so hey, for that prophecy to be fulfilled, man. Because when shit go digital, brain chips start getting uh, put out. Um, whether it's in your head or in your hand, man, to do what? Buy and sell, man. You know? Go ahead and clear that out. Verse 17, and that no man might buy or sell, say he that had the mark, or the name of the beast. Or the number of his name. Exactly, man. So you ain't gonna be able to buy or sell without this digital all. That's what's gonna happen. So when you get this thing put in you, you're gonna have consequences and repercussions. A lot of people is getting cancer off this stuff. Yeah, that's, you know? that's in uh, Revelation 16 chapter. Grievous sword. I got it right here. You know? Yeah, man. So, yeah, now why you think they doing away with crap cash? That's just one step closer to, to that in TV, man. Cash is the size.
Just, uh, Revelation 16 and verse 1. It says, And I heard a, a great voice out of, out of the temple saying to the seven angels, Go your ways and pour out vows of the wrath of the Most High upon the earth. And the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth, and there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast, and upon them which worshipped his image. Yeah, man. So the ones who do sickness, all type of diseases is going to shoot throughout through your body. And they might have a turn on switch. And they already talked about it with uh, Daniel Rockefeller. He said, well, all we got to do is just cut your chip off. Yeah, they showed you that in Kingsman. Uh, Kingsman movie, man. They was in that little bunker or whatever, and everybody had put that 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 C hip up in them. And what happened, man? They head start blowing up. They just pressed the button. They head start blowing up, man. Yeah, they, it was a Running Man too. Uh, with Arnold Schwarzenegger, the old movie from the eighties. Uh, they was in a um, concentration camp. They had the, uh, uh, some device around their neck. Yep. Pretty chip. If they tried to escape, their head was blown. Yep. Good. Suicide Squad too. Then they show you, uh, with, even though Kanye West didn't have a, a chip, he froze his account. He said something that they didn't like. Oh, oh you on that one movie, Wild Wild West? They had that was that was a, the chip, the thing that was on their neck. Yeah. They chopped their head off. And like so, that they they've been showing you these things for a long time to gradually get you to accept it. Yeah. So that's you all with witchcraft. Uh-huh. He's deceiving you, man. He's telling you it's going to help you. But you read the Holy Scriptures, you take it, you're condemned. This is uh, 2 Corinthians 2 and 11, and it reads, Let Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Mm -hmm. And what the Apostle Paul said, I believe that's long as he said, uh, but but at the times of the seasons, I have no need to tell you, brother, for you know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief. He goes on to say, but ye, brother, are not in darkness. And then we can that that day shall overtake you. Why? Because we're standing on our watch. We see what's happening in the world, and we're measuring the times. First Thessalonians chapter five. You know, you finish what you Hey, the men of the Lord are measuring the times, man. Seeing what's happening in the world and seeing what the word of the heavenly Father is saying, right? Time, man. So yeah, man. That's why you got to know what's going on and pay attention to what the man of the Lord is telling you. The true, the true man of the Lord is the only ones who's going to tell you the truth. And we're going to speak according to this word, like it says in uh, Isaiah 8 and 20, to this law and to this testimony. If they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. A lot of these other guys out here don't have no light in them. They're not going to profess the truth to you. They're going to tell you a bunch of bull crap saying it's Christianity or it's man with white women or, or this and that, whatever they want to say. MOTB is. But, but who's going to be really walking around saying, I got Christianity, I want to pay for this? I mean, come on, man. Like, let's, let's just be real, man. Let's be real. Who who going to be saying some dumb, retarded stuff like that? Man? Right, right. Just making up bullshit and, and ignoring this is not going to make this thing go away. This is prophecy. Exactly. Or I'm going to have a sex with the white woman. Can I buy this? <laughs> then, I mean, we all finished it. I know, right? Like, come on, man. Yeah. <laughs> so let, let me let me buy that. I been, I, I, I done hit about three white women. I, I want to buy this, this, that. Yeah, right. Come on, man. It just shows you how silly you are, man. Because you out of your damn mind to even think like that. Loud. But when they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as yeah. travail yeah. upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Uh -huh. So yeah, man, that's what's gonna happen, man. Stay right there. That's what's gonna happen, man. Is they gonna be saying peace and safety, peace and safety, but destruction is gonna come upon you two third ass niggas who don't want to listen, man. You know. Now how about some else is gonna bring judgment on you, man? But ye brethren are not in darkness that that day should overtake you as a thief. Exactly, we're not gonna be caught up in the darkness. We're gonna be of the light. A lot of you guys, that thief in the night is for you wicked ass niggas who don't wanna listen. 
That's what that's what that thief in the night is talking about. That's not coming for the um the elect of Israel. The right. elect of Israel, Israel is gonna get delivered for the destruction. Y'all gonna get smoked right here with these damn devils. Right. Because you didn't want to listen to the man of the Lord when we was telling you these things. Ye are all the children of the light and the children of the day. We are not of the night or nor of darkness. Exactly. Therefore let us not sleep as does others and let us watch and be sober exactly let us not sleep and let us watch and be sober and that sober mean um be, having your mind exercising these scriptures not literally um it's like physically soberness but no that's actually mean me being circumspect paying attention knowing what's going on Where's not being time? sleep exactly yep this Sirach chapter 39 and verse 1, it says, But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all the ancients and be occupied in prophecies. All right, so you're going to be occupied in the prophecies. You're going to be watching, always standing upon your watch, you know, literally paying attention to the things that's going on around you. You're going to know. You're going to know what to tell the person that, hey, don't take that. Hey, um, I stand from this. I stand from that. Hey, come back to your house, watch him, y'all shot. This is how you're going to get delivered. It's the only way out of this destruction. There's no other way. But when you lean into your own understanding, that's when a lot of you are going to take that MOTB. Right. And then you're going to be burnt up. But before you get burnt up, you're going to get Jacob's trouble. That's right. You're going to get martial law on the streets. They gonna be kicking open your door, smacking you with AK 47s and right. AR 15s in your mouth. Mm -hmm. They gonna be throwing you in concentration camps. This is what's coming to America, That's right. whether people want to see it or not. There ain't no escaping. It. Well, you know what? Lord says His ways are not your ways, man. Lord gonna do. He say He fulfill all His pleasure. It don't, Lord don't give a damn what you think. He's not moved by your unbelief. That's right. Scripture say all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. That's right. Huh. You got that. This is uh second address now. Go ahead, go read it. This is uh second address nine and one. And it reads, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee, then shalt thou understand that in the very same time where the highest will begin to visit the world. Which he made. And he's he's visiting these pl this place. That's exactly what's happening before you people have. Look at the uh, shortage of the food. It, it's getting it's getting very scarce, man. But people were thinking like, oh, I can still go to the store. I can still go to this restaurant. I can still go to this strip club. I could do all these things. But when 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 Esau slowly started taking all them things away, you're gonna see, which he is. A lot of stores been closing down, especially a lot of Walmarts. Mm -hmm. You know, not even just in the hood, in the suburbs. See, they ain't they ain't telling you about what's gonna get closed down in the suburbs. That the Walmart right in, in, in um Homewood, Illinois, they closed that one down. Yeah, cause the, all those gonna be burning, be camped any damn way. Exactly, and it's a lot of Edom Edomites around Homewood. Yep. They closed that one down. So it ain't just the hood. It's, it's in the suburbs too. And you, and you notice all these Walmarts, there's always a train by. Mm -hmm. There's always a train by. There's one on 9th and on West. Train's right behind that damn Walmart. Yep. That, what do you think? That's coincidence? That's by design. Because they plan on transforming them things, them places into a concentration camp. Right? That, that's right. Yep. Kind. And then it, it's a. Uh, with that uh, 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 that railroad uh, on the way to pick me up. They got the track blocked off. Fix it. What they fixing it for? You know what that's for. Martial law. Uh -huh. See, we have just saw when they had the tanks on the uh, train tracks bringing them in. Yeah. In the hood. Yeah. yeah. That's like 95. Yeah, kind. That's, hey, when you a watchman, you, you on your watch. You're not ignorant of Satan's devices. Exactly. It says, therefore when thou, fuck it, therefore when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproar of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. And when you 
you're seeing uproar of the people everywhere, earthquakes. So this just showing you all the signs that's coming. So y'all about shit me out shot, been telling us this for a very long time that these things was coming. But people refuse to listen. They always say, it ain't gonna happen in my lifetime. That's probably gonna happen in my grandkids' lifetime and my kids' kids. Why would you want that, them to go through that anyway? Why would you want them to go through destruction? That's some selfish ass shit. That just show you how you bird brain ass niggas, man, are gonna be destroyed, man. Don't say it's gonna happen with my kids' kids. You want them to die? Yeah. They show you how selfish you niggas are, man. Trying to try to rob from judgment. You know, try to tell them something's in their head, man. Hey, uh, somebody I know did that, man. And when I first woke up, I was telling about the chip. He he knew about the chip. He like, yeah, I, I know Esau gonna eventually bring that, but I'll be dead and gone. And then uh, years later, remember, uh, 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 what was it, Wisconsin, they were chipping. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was looking right at the news when they brung that in. <laughs> 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 I, I was looking, I was looking, oh, you go ahead, yeah. Okay. I was, I was looking, um, I, I was looking dead at him, man. He was sitting in his chair, and they brought out, he, I could see, see he jumped a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and now he's scared, he's like, oh man, damn, it's coming sooner than I think. Yeah, right. shit real. <laughs> This is Ezekiel chapter 12 and verse 26. Yep. Again, the word of the Lord came to me saying, yep. Son of man, behold, they of the house of Israel say, the vision that he seeth is for many days to come, and he prophesied of the times that are far off. Therefore saying to them, thus saith Yahweh power, there shall none of my words be prolonged anymore, but the word which I have spoken shall be done, saith Yahweh power. And hey, hey, it's no gray areas in the scriptures, man. Hey, 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 just like in the times of Noah, right, right. just like in the just like in the days of Noah, people were scoffing, talking shit. Noah's prophesying of the destruction that was gonna come via water. People scoffed and mocked, but the scripture said he knew not until uh until uh rain started. Right from the paraphrase to Jonah and uh, Noah entered that ark. Same thing now. People are talking shit about the nukes. Oh, uh, this place ain't gonna get nuke. We have the greatest military. Oh, uh, America surely is gonna be here for hundreds of more years. No. That second entrance nine, it says, like, as all things is made in the earth have a beginning and an end, the end is manifest. Hey, America had a day of, of, of birth. Guess what? It's an expiration day to it now. And right. hey, it's happening in our, our times, man. Our days, man. How do we know this? Hey, the testimony of Yahweh Shah is the spirit of prophecy. The prophecies are coming to, pour, coming to pass in our lifetime. That's right. You see? Uh, finish that, uh, that entrance. It says, uh, call it back out. It says, then shall thou well on the call the call the scripture back out. This is second Edris 9 and verse 4. It says, Then shall thou well understand that the most high speak of those things from days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as the Slakia, for like as the for like as that is made in the world to have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. So the end is being manifest. You see in the manifestation. Of what's going on now now it's like it ain't no excuse no more you can't say this ain't happening in my lifetime it's happening in your lifetime now so now what are you going to do what do what, what are you going what are you going to do to get right with y'all about shimmy i'm shot and like it says it what uh for second peter three what man are you ought to be somebody hold that on that keep reading in that because it's going to go into the destruction of the niggas. it says even so even so the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works ending in effects and signs he's showing you the signs then we just not just see a blood moon when the um the, the new moon was coming the, the the lord code though how he did it oh yeah the blood moon came out and then it, it, it immediately disappeared because the new moon was going to be coming that week and you know you can't see the moon is invisible from the eye for the Lord to show that the moon, the blood moon come full like that, yeah, and then cover it back up and make it disappear because we going into the new moon. That shows you that was a sign. Yeah, definitely a sign. Like, like I said, uh, the new moon is invisible to the eye. Yeah. So, yeah, that definitely was a sign. That was that was a, that was a heaven sign. I'm like, damn, that's a blood moon, and then it just <laughs> disappeared. <laughs> 
So this shows you the Lord is showing his signs. And then I saw another blood moon, but it was like the half crescent, like uh, a couple of days ago. So yeah. so the Lord is showing you, man. Yeah, but you know what? Yo, Jake don't give a shit, man. As long as they, they go, about, go on about their day, like they ain't paying attention to shit, or they don't give a shit. Yep. Well, guess what? When the Lord bring that hell on your ass, man, now you want to get serious. Yeah, exactly. That's why it's going to go into destruction of the niggas. That's right. <laughs> Willingly ignorant. Here it is. Your own government is telling you World War III is going to happen. You got the prophets that have been saying this since the late 60s. But yet, Jake still want to walk around and act like ain't shit happening. Yeah, like I said, ignoring this is not going to make it go away, man. Mm -hmm. This is a prophecy <laughs> of you. How about shooting me out of shot, man? All right. And everyone that shall be talking. Second Edges 9 and 7. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works. And by faith, where he you have to leave. Yeah, cool. Exactly. Sad, the only ones who are going to escape is the elect. That's right. That's right. If you ain't on that number, yeah. you're done. It says, shall be preserved. For it says, uh, uh, perils, and shall see my salvation in my land and within my border. For I have, sorry, for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. It says, then shall they be in a pitiful case which now have abused my ways, and that they have cast them away despitefully, shall dwell in torment. For, for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me, and they have loathed my law, while they have yet liberty, and when yet sorry, and when yet a place of repentance was opened unto them, understood not, but despised it. The okay. same must know it. After death by pain. So yeah, man, you niggas are gonna get that death by pain, man, because y'all received them benefits. Y'all got y'all y'all wanted to get rich off this place instead of coming back into your house by shooting y'all was shot. Y'all was all uh, for matter of fact, I got a quick one. And you ignored his prophets. The prophets are, are a sign of the Lord's mercy. He's telling you, like, look, this was gonna happen, get right. Yep. You know? But you walk past, you, you scoff, you talk shit, you mistreated the men of the Lord. Now you finna have to pay for it, man. Kind, I got a quick one. It's Isaiah 31 and 1. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help yeah. and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many and in horsemen because they are very strong. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord Yahweh. That's what y'all do. Y'all trust in America, his military might, all that, but which, which ain't shit no more. Because every, hey, look, if you see how China and Russia and the Koreans, how they operate. They on a whole different hey, level, man. I seen a video of the Russian military. They put center block on their body. It broke over the sledgehammer. They got right back up. Yeah, <laughs> man. Shit. You know, see? But why you got the American military cross dressing? Yeah. Cross dressing. Hey, TikTok. Hey, dancing. TikTok. Hey, I seen an article, uh, it was like a headline earlier this week. They said more than half of the uh, people in America can't do like five or ten push five oh, or ten yeah, push ups. You see, and they say over 70 can't do nothing at all, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Damn, While all the other nations are prepping and getting ready for war, yeah. they raising up their mighty man. Niggas in Russia hanging from trees, bare right here, getting bare right patched up. Yeah. Jake, I mean, and Jake too, but these heathen over here in America, soft, soy, changing, a changing of kind, not being prepared at all, man. Yep, y'all yeah, not, y'all not ready. Shit, I ain't even know the sun can't even do a push up. That's a damn shame. <laughs> Yeah. God damn, you man. Got, you got a bunch of lazy this here, man. My yeah, son, man. my son, when he go to, go to, he get like a little test and stuff like that. He said he the only one that could do 10 push-ups. He was doing more. These niggas weak. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's just middle school. That, yeah, that's the posterity. That's the future generation. What they say? They say hard times, they say um, hard times make make hard men, roughly paraphrasing, and then good times make soft men. Yeah, yeah. Here it is, this gonna be uh, uh, a evils, man, a uh, bad times on the earth. And hey, all these people over here is soft, man. Through, Esau got these people mad cooked. Yeah, that's why the Lord put us through the trials and tribulations stuff. He put us through stuff to toughen us, man. That's, right. up, that's why they gonna give it into this, this, you know, see ya. This, I got a precept, this is uh, Hosea 4 and 6 and it reads, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. It says that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. So, so pretty much, man, our people, 
as the scripture says, as, as uh, led, led to uh, come. Yeah. You know, our, our people are destroyed because they don't they don't seek wisdom, man. They don't seek the fear to fear the Lord, man. They they fear this damn devil, man. Proverbs just say, uh, fools uh, perish for a want of wisdom, and, and want means a lack of wisdom, man. And they, the Lord said, my people are foolish; they have not known me. You don't know the heavenly Father. You don't understand His will, what He's doing, what, what He got you, why you in this position. And what ultimately he's gonna bring on the earth, man. That's right. And nor do you nor and it says Israel does not uh consider, man. So now you threw the A to see him coming, the M to the T, the M to the O to the T to the B coming, and all these things come to pass, and hey, you've been in your flesh, man, not watching, not taking heed to the men of the Lord. Uh, I got some since this uh brother uh did it. Uh, he said uh Yeah, here you go. Uh, brother said something. Um, they fear Esau more than the Lord. This is uh, Proverbs uh, 29 and uh, 25. The fear of man bringeth a snare. We know a snare is a trap, man. Why fear? Uh, 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 why, why fear something that the Lord controls? Man? Scripture says, uh, man, man's born the Lord. Man, he said. Scripture said the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. Right. All right. The Lord controls man. That's who you should feel. The ones who ultimately control, which is the heavenly father, man. Yeah. You know, that's what. Oh, go ahead, brother. It's like that's the beginning of wisdom. Yeah. To fear the heavenly father. Yeah. Cause knowing that this devil can't do shit to you that the Lord don't allow, man. Yeah. You know? It says, uh, fear of man bringing a stare. But whoso put his trust in the Lord shall be safe. And that's the only way you're gonna get delivered, man. Yeah. Putting your trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, letting him uh, lead your path. Like it says in Proverbs 3 and 5, trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not to thy own understanding. That's the point. That's yeah. part of niggas leading their own understanding. They they can, they can figure out a way out. They don't need the Lord. <laughs> yeah. but which, which what the Lord finna bring, there's no other way out but the Lord delivering right. you, man. Exactly. Uh, and it said, in all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he should direct thy path. I got a quick one. Uh -huh. This is uh, John, as you said, they are trying to find another way out these niggas. This is John 10 and 1. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that enter not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way. That's climb up some other way. Niggas, hey, man, you had a nigga who was teaching, talking about, we tell him what's going to happen. We saw the do, we been bring come in like the flood. The nigga said, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. <laughs> We were just talking about these movies like uh, Equalizer, John Wick. Yeah. You know, you got, really got, Esau show you, you got people like that out here, man. You know, put your AK, point your AK, the nigga already up on you dislocating you shit. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly, man. These robots out here. Yeah, robots. Yeah. Sound like Ice Cube. I, I gotta have my AK. Yeah. Robot, yeah. <laughs> and guess what? That's that's Esau blessing. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you niggas. Nah, blessing. Esau. You niggas don't even know how to shoot properly. Yeah. Hey, Saint Benji, he made a lesson, and uh, he put a clip of uh, Joe Biden. He was like, basically, if you wanted to overtake a, uh, America or whatnot, you need some nukes and you need some fighter jets, man. Yeah. Niggas don't have that. No, you, know. you don't have that, man. So it's not happening, man. Not exactly. Again, your sword is not your blessing. That's Esau's blessing, man. This is a video of some damn four-year-old, so-called eat of my kid. He already fucking um and shoot at the shooting range, man. You know how to put take the gun apart and shit and everything up there. At four years old, man. Four or three. <laughs> All right. They can't survive no drone strike. Yeah. You know. They motherfucker come back. You, Get my egg. Hey, he ain't finna. It's gone. You gone. Yeah. It's all, you yeah. don't wait. Yeah, that motherfucker. Before you grab that motherfucker, filled your your ass up with bullets. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. It's a damn eat them out in the room with yeah. control. I know this is like back, a video game. Sitting back yeah. eating popcorn. Blow your ass away. <laughs> <laughs> it says the same is a thief and a robber, but he that enter in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. And that's what you're supposed to enter in by the door of your house, by Shimmy Alshon, to be the proper shepherd for the sheep. That's it, man. But all you other guys who out here playing around, thinking you're going to make your own way in here, talking about you're going to build the next Black Wall Street, you niggas are going to die. 
here in America, man, because you out of your goddamn mind, man. Ain't no way in hell you're going to uh, succeed in a wicked kingdom that's run by Esau either, man. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. He, would, he would never. He would never allow you to do that. Like, yeah. <laughs> never have allowed us to do that. Yeah. We've been doing that, trying to do that shit for years. You got towns under, under, under underwater. Lakes, lakes so, you know what I'm saying? Underwater. You got lakes. all this history. You still want to try this. Yeah. Yeah. Tulsa, Oklahoma bombed it. All right. Like you said, other towns on the water. Jake did that, tried to do that already. You know, you're not going to be ruling hand in hand with this damn devil. Who's your enemy, man? Second Peter 3 says, by the same word, this heaven is reserved unto fire. So yep. what's the point? That's it. That's, that's it, bro. Hey, right. You're like, why would you want that anyway? I don't want to be hand in hand with this damn devil, man. Scripture says, sit, sit him not at all body. At least he looked over 30, man. You got a perfect example of that in the book of Esther, man. Like Haman, uh, it was looking to overthrow, uh, which, uh, it was, uh, Mount, yeah, uh, it was a, it was a, uh, uh, yeah, 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 that's what, because he was, he was second in command. Yeah. He was looking to overthrow him. All right, that's what this devil would do, man. All right, he will plot to, because he got, he got to be top dog, but at the same time, his woman could be over him, man. Bruh. This, this dude is a real fucking psychopath, a nut job, man. His woman can rule over him, but he, he's a top dog. He won't be over everybody else, man. Yeah, man. I didn't this, this dude's a goddamn sick man. Yeah, man. Anybody who loves a woman over him, you, you're sick, man. You're a fucking weirdo. Simp. A simp ass. That's another word for it. And your asses don't get it all there in the head, man. Exactly, man. The woman talk about your woman giving advice stuff like that. Look, man, I mean, the woman may see something and say, baby, don't you? And she may ask a question. Yeah. That's, that's, she ain't gonna directly tell your ass, hey, don't do that, baby. Wait, you don't talk to me like that. You out of your damn mind. But these men don't know how to stand on their feet. Yeah, uh, they was raised by these women. Yeah, and they shit. And they got their head up the vagina. Man. Exactly, right. man. Um. I'm gonna finish this out. To him, the porter opened, and the sheep hear his voice. And he called his own sheep by name and led them out. Exactly, because that's the only ones who can get led out, the elect. You niggas out here, y'all ain't about to, y'all gonna get dealt with, man. Right. You know? You're not even gonna make it. You're not gonna make it, man. Into the fire. You know? Because y'all too weak anyway. Y'all don't know how to even stand on y'all toes, man. Y'all talking about you got your, you don't even know how to shoot, man. There's a certain way to shoot, to uh, uh, hit your target, man. You niggas shoot. You don't, you don't even know how to do that, man. What the hell are you talking about? Your best bet is to return unto the Lord, man, so he can, can protect you in that, in that time. The scriptures say uh, uh, how uh, we going through our uh, punishment now, you know, getting purified now so we won't be condemned with the world, man. That's right. All right. But if you niggas want to continue, and you still, the Lord still putting you through hell, even though you don't want to serve the Lord. But guess what? And now you, you got to get that death by pain, since you want to re, re, just reject and despise the word of the Lord. Yep. All that wickedness, man. Putting Esau over you, putting your, your like y'all was saying, putting the female over you. Yeah. You got Kevin Gates drinking piss. Oh. Talking about, oh, I ain't see no wrong in her. I don't see no flaws. I, I, what, you out of your damn mind, man. You gonna drink a woman piss? Another weird. <laughs> but that it shows you how weak these these men are. They don't know how to be men. They not men. Yeah. They little. They, they 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 like little boys, well, man. Well, guess what? We was in uh, all right yesterday. We was looking at the uh, the draw section with all these goddamn cereal fucking draws, fruit fruity loops, Dorito <laughs> draws, honey smacks, cheeses, fucking golden crisp. And this this is what niggas are wearing. Grown ass nigga spun by a square pants. Uh, yeah, pants sagging. Pants sagging. Pan sa sa pan yeah. sa try act like a tough guy. Man, you ain't no tough guy long on the fucking fruity pebbles draws, man. You <laughs> stupid nigga. Yeah, that's the truth though. This shit is wild out here. This shit wild, man. <laughs> fucking you. Wow. Yeah, go ahead, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Isaiah chapter 32, verse 7. The instruments of the, also, the instruments also of the churl are evil. He devises wicked devices to destroy the poor with lying words. 
even when the needy speak is right. All right? right. So we can sit here and speak all the righteousness as we want. You know, he's still viewing his lies on the media, lying and lying with his devices lined up to what they what they what he wants them to believe in. You know, like this this uh, we can tell everybody that no that 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 that, that, that uh you know I know you I know you're blind and I know you want to take this this uh grain of rice, but this is this is not the way. You know what I mean? But Esau already got them convinced. You know, with his evil plans. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. You know, they don't have nothing. They never had shit. Yeah. They were born with the, the defect. Now Esau coming with this, this so-called miracle. You know what I'm saying? Coming with lying words. But you know, when when the poor, when we're the poor, we don't have nothing. We say, we're speaking right against wickedness. They don't want to hear what we got to say. You know what I mean? We ain't got the the the, 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 the materials that they wish to have. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, but the liberal divides of liberal things, and by liberal things shall be stand, shall he stand. Rise up, ye women that are at ease, and you women that are at ease, y'all careless. You know what I mean? Y'all easily uh, 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 moved by, by by what this 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 whore on on the pedestal is doing. Now you doing what she doing? Yeah. Y'all at ease? Y'all don't care? Yeah, because he's at power. Yeah. That's all it boils down to. Women follow whoever's in power. Yeah, and you know, that's why they're gonna be in order to keep them heaven because these people on side gonna have the power now. Exactly. Esau gave them a little power. Yeah, yeah. Which, which is which is out of fucking order. Yeah. It shows you he's a, a bitch ass nigga, man. Because <laughs> should no should no female have no power in giving you any goddamn advice unless you question. My woman should never talk over me. That's She's right. supposed to be in order and be quiet. That's right. And be in her place as a woman. Shut the fuck up. Like, they, they, they not supposed to be saying certain things. Yep. You niggas allow that. Y'all right. allow that stuff to happen. That's not what a man is. A man is going to tell his woman to be in order and be quiet. She shall not even supposed to be seen. Right. Y'all don't know how to stand up on y'all feet and say some shit. Yep. That's why a lot of you guys, man, are going to die, man. That's right. Y'all not men. They threaten what he Yeah, man. Just because a woman get loud and get mad at what you saying, don't be scared of that shit. You know? But you know what? That's a lot of them niggas on Queen of Heaven worship. Yep. Yep. Matter of fact, we're at the Isaiah 44 chapter, man. Yep. You, you niggas are Queen of Heaven worshipers, man. You put the damn woman over you when you the head. Put, put them on the pedestal. Yep. Rise up, these women that are eating and scared, scared to, to lose them and shit, man. Know, who, give, who gives a damn, man? Let bring that Isaiah, that, um... If they, if they don't want to listen to what you got to say, Isaiah, the hell with um, them, man. Oh, no, is it the Jeremiah, the Queen of Heaven? Jeremiah, the 44th chapter. You got it? Yeah. Yeah, Jeremiah 44, start at 15. It's Jeremiah chapter 44 and 15. It says, Then all the men which knew that their wives had burnt incense unto other gods, and all the women that stood by a great multitude, even all the people that dwelt in the land of Egypt and Pathros answered Jeremiah, saying, As for the word that thou hast spoken unto us in the name of the Lord, we will not hearken unto thee, but we will certainly do whatsoever thing go forth out of our own mouth to burn incense unto the queen of heaven and to pour out drink offerings unto her as we have done, we and our fathers and our kings and our princes. Yep. And, and, and the man, Salaki, the man was doing that. They knew they went, the, they uh, females was worshiping the other gods. Mm. And guess what they do it today? They uh, motherfucking Mother went in the witchcraft they they doing the tarot card reading. They into Christianity. They into Baptist. They into Muslim. They into every goddamn thing. But you how about Shimmy Shot? And you niggas follow them women. Y'all follow them. That's why a lot of you niggas are Christians. A lot of you niggas are Baptist. Cause you follow your fucking woman, man. You a bitch ass nigga, man. Yeah. No man should be under a fucking woman. That's right. That's how Adam fell, man. See, Serpent knew what he was doing, man. If I Serpent, like, yeah, get to this man. I gotta persuade this woman first. She gonna bring that bullshit back to him. He, he gonna fall for it, man. You know? That's the, that's the oldest trick of the book, man. Exactly, man. 
you, a lot of you dudes are gonna die, man. Yep. And you females that are all, all these different guys y'all following, y'all gonna die too. Y'all right. not getting away with this. Keep going. It says, and Pathros answered Jeremiah saying, as for the word of the Lord that thou hast spoken unto us in the name of the Lord, we will not hearken unto thee, but we will certainly do whatsoever thing go forth out of our own mouth to burn incense unto the queen of heaven and to pour out drink offerings unto her as we have done we and our fathers and our kings and our princes in the cities of Judah and the streets of Jerusalem for then had we plenty of victuals and were well and saw no evil. Exactly, y'all man like this ain't evil that, that's going on. That's very evil. You, you allowing these females to be over you. That's exactly what you're doing. And that's weak. Now, now, let them uh, read a couple more verses. Man. I got you. Uh, read to like 22. Verse 18. But since we left Jeremiah 44 and 18. But since we left off to burn incense to the queen of heaven. And to pour out drink offerings unto her. We have wanted all things and have been consumed by the sword and by the famine. And when we burn incense to the queen of heaven. And pour out drink offerings unto her. Did it says, did we make her cakes to worship her and pour out drinks unto her without our men? Then Jeremiah said unto all the people, to the men and to the women, and to all the people which had given him that answer, saying, the incense that ye burned in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem, ye and your fathers, your kings and your princes, and the people of the land, did not Yahweh remember them and came it not into his mind? So that Yahweh could no longer bear because of the evil of your doings and because of the abominations which ye have committed. Therefore is your land a desolation, an astonishment, and a curse without an inhabitant as at this day. God, man, you got destroyed, man. That's what happened to you guys that worship these damn God females. We know that. And he's going to destroy this place. This wicked demonic kingdom is going to be destroyed by your Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. That's what's going to happen. Wait for me. We're talking about God as we broke down this road. Hey, hey, guess what? The God of the Bible is not with you. He's what? Not with you. Unless you happen to be on his side. He's not what? Keep, keep going, man. Keep reading. God of black man. This is Jeremiah 44 and 23. Okay. This is Jeremiah 44 and 23. Because ye have burnt incense and because ye have sinned against the Lord and have not obeyed the voice of the Lord, nor walked in his law, nor in his statutes, nor in his testimonies, therefore this evil has happened unto you at this day. Yeah. Alright, now that's good. But yeah, man, these these people are worshiping, worshiping these people and following after these females, you gonna die, man. Because a man is supposed to lead. Wait, He's, guess what? That we don't smoke, man. That just shows she the devil, man. Devil. You heard that shit too. That, that's, the, that's the scripture that says, uh, it's Mike, it's a Hebrew score as well. Let's take it real quick. You know, because you won't talk about this God, but soon you curse the ass out. A true, true self came out. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That was a yeah. chair of horns. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is Hebrews 4, verse 12. Mm -hmm. For the word of Yahweh is quick and powerful and sharper than a two edged sword. Mm -hmm. so this word cuts, man. Hey. All you gotta do is simply read the word, and these wicked people in turn will get carnal. Go ahead, because this word, these words that y'all about shooting out shot, it cuts the spirit. It says piercing, even to the dividing asunder of a soul and spirit, mm -hmm. and of the joints and the marrow. Yep. So it cut through the bone and marrow. It cuts straight to your goddamn spirit. You, you're never the same again after this word cuts you, man. Go ahead. And is a discerner of the thoughts of the intent of the heart. So this word got brought out and uh, in turn showed her, showed her true intent. She 
showed our horns. Yeah. That's it, man. Then it goes to show uh, Revelations 12 and 12. You know, they know that they got a short time because he said, what is this world coming to? And they, they, they knew we were talking about the Lord. They, they, they watch. They know. They know it's about to be an ending of their kingdom. You know, you yeah. can tell. You know? That's right. She heard when she got called the devil. Yeah. <laughs> she said, huh? Yeah, what? what? Bear with yeah. and, then, and then she going into the field. And she don't even look good. That's yeah. pop shit. Oh, dude. And then, then, these Edomites, they got <laughs> <laughs> These Edomites got a spirit of guilt on them, man. Yeah. They know they got some shit coming. Yeah, All right, yeah. the average day eat them like they know they got some they shit do. coming to them, man. Yeah, because when they done wrong, they want justice and uh, uh, and vengeance, man. Uh -huh. So you you know they understand when you reap what you sow. They understand that very well, man. Very well. Yeah. All right, yeah. so they know the it's payback coming to them for what they did to these people on the side, man. Yeah. They understand that. And they don't have no problems on getting they job, they justice back. Yeah. But but they got a problem when we want ours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah like you said, oh, I spell where I want it. They see see how they how these devil won't put all you people on the side in one category, but you can't do that to them though. They all ain't bad. They they, they all ain't like that when it come out of them though. Exactly. Y'all y'all the main ones be off all the drugs, all Damn. the opioids yeah. and everything. Leaning, falling dead. That's where that opioid crisis come from, and it's still going. You the ones with the main, main with the meth, with the methamphetamine and stuff like that. Y'all the main ones with the drugs, man. It's crazy. This Philippians one and twenty eight, and in nothing terrified by your adversaries, which is to them an evident token of perdition, perdition, but to you of the salvation of that of the Most High. You see, ain't a prophet showing up. The Lord, the, Lord is hey, the Lord is coming to save his people. Hallelujah. He's going to judge this place, right? But to them, the outsiders, especially Esau, Edom, it's an evident token of your destruction, man, of you getting your payback, man. Change coming for you for what you've done to the apple of the Lord's eye. Here it is. The Japanese thing got reparations. The small has thing got reparations. And everybody else has been wrong. You didn't gave them some bread, told some X, Y, and Z. But when we come down to the Negro, Latino, Native Americans, you still have us in your uh, possession till this day. Exactly. I mean, they, 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 they getting the Ukrainians over here. Giving them benefits, all the, all these benefits, but they ain't giving Jake nothing. <laughs> hey, hey, like, they get, like they, man, they getting how y'all getting full benefits of all this stuff? Y'all don't even live here, and these Ukrainians come here and get a free ride. They getting housing authorities quit. They getting um the session A. They getting all the all the link. They probably getting over two bands on link, three bands. They like, they, they, they getting all this, this shit, man. Y'all giving them, but but y'all don't do shit for Jacob. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Which will prove he, he just your enemy. He hates you, man. Yeah. How much more, more? How much more do you need, man? All Jake, right. Jake you know, filed for taxes. Taxes. Yeah. Well, yeah. Hey, we spent all our tax dollars. Hey, even on like the, the Dr. Umar, he said the only way. Restoration is through war. That, he said it ain't never been no voting. You gonna vote your way. He's like, all that stuff is number. Of course, we know that. He said all that ain't number bull crap. But through war, he said, when have anything have been taken down through voting? Nothing. Yeah. That's why scripture say the saints should take the kingdom. We gonna get our real reparations when your house shot come back, man. You know, it ain't gonna never happen. Goddamn devil! All right, we gonna get our reparation when the Lord comes back. And you think, guess what? The devils are gonna be part of that goddamn gift. And she went. She right away. Yeah. Look, well, you saw Eve with this way. We eat with the eat of my one. You gonna burn with it, tickle one. Come on, man. Hey, yeah, exactly. Burn with it, y'all gonna be destroyed. But then it shows you, man. The Lord is about to smoke. Niggas, damn nigga females, all of y'all about to get murked up. Bitches don't like water. Right, right, exactly. Devils. Fuck. You guys like, well, why you talking like that? Well shit. Why not? Look what situation we in. They they just wanna act like ain't nothing going on with us. You know, ain't nothing going on in our personal life, man. What's the reason for us being mad? Yeah. You know? 
Of our nation, we pissed off because we love our people and look at the position of them, man. Yeah. Hey, we're at the bottom. Hey, our enemies walk over us. Hey, hey these heathens lick our swords. But hey, it's, it's all good though, man, because we have the good news, man, which we come out here to preach. We are the children of Israel, and our, and our God, our power is coming to save us, which is your destruction. That's right. Yep. Hey, but you know what? Hey, even what's being said with these damn females. They'll, they'll get mad, they lay with a nigga, get the, all these kids from the nigga, right? But but they get mad, right, when when, when the dude don't do nothing for them. They don't put these type of niggas on child support or nothing. They let these dirty ass, gay bang ass yeah. niggas go back. So, and then, but then, when you start telling them, they like, well, they, they start starting to say, these men don't want to be men. I said, but well, you got to look at who's, who, who, who the, um, who started this. Edomite. As soon as you start talking about the Edomite, they want to defend them. They're like, no, nah, that happened a long time. You can't blame them and say it, it's them. You gotta, it's you, you, you guys just don't want to take care of y'all children yeah, and all what? that the, bullshit, the man. Nigga, the nigga woman is a hypocrite. That was a long time ago when we come out of Edomite, but we come out of you. She hold on to shit you did years ago. <laughs> exactly, man. <laughs> but y'all want to let the damn devil get away with everything, man. Yeah. He just get a free fucking ride. He didn't do nothing. All that that was that was old. That old shit affected to West now. Yeah, right. yeah. He even had some shit documented. And it, it, it ain't like this devil stopped being evil or something. He's still doing wickedness. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. He's doing, he doing it right now. He's speaking. He's the same bitch that do that. Black Lives Matter. Why did you do that to George right. Bush? But then forget the next week. And then just celebrate uh, your, your Taking Christmas and all this crap, and forget about it. You know what I'm saying? White man holiday. They sometimes it's like they sometimes outrage. They, they they sometimes. You know what I'm saying? They ain't they ain't, they ain't about nothing. But they just marked themselves just 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 now. Oh, oh when, we, when you had good times on earlier, yeah. We got on when you was watching it, and then uh, Weezy she said when um Michael he said uh I told the uh, teacher that George Washington was a racist. And, and then and then she and was a slave owner because he had slave owner. Then she gonna say, well, "How you gonna talk about the father of our country?" Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> that's Eve all the way. The father of our country, but then it shows you who the enemy. Yep. They yep. became an enemy to us, man. Don't don't trust. Don't think your uh, your 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 these females are on your side, man. Right. They your enemy, man. This, this Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and 15. Oh, that's what she, that's what she said. Oh, man. You better go. You got a crime. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah like, nobody give a fuck what you got. Nobody pay attention to your sorry ass. What? Right. You want to pay attention to your sorry ass? Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> oh, ain't that? She gonna die right along with that? Yeah. Oh, that's what you got. You need to survive. You got a bitch, you got to save everybody. Thank you. Damn, about to work. Fight it down with some ball here. Fucking nigga woman. You got to say, man. Boy. This Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 15. That which have been is now, and that which is to be have already been. And the Most High required that which is past. And the Heavenly Father said, My thoughts are not your thoughts. See, people try and put, uh, put behind our plight as if that was just some shit that just happened. No, the Heavenly Father requires that which was passed, man. You know the self-proclaimed white man is, and all his sex is responsible for hundreds of millions of deaths. But yeah, we get called the crooks, the criminals, the murderers, right? But when we bring these things out to our people, they they they, they come and defend them, man. You know? But well, that's why they that's why the Lord gonna destroy them all together, man. No hand, join no the hand. Oh, is it both? Wicked should not be unpunished. Right. Right. So all wicked should not be unpunished. That includes you two thirds, man. You gonna be swimming in that nuclear fire right along with your lover you saw him since you wanted to defend him and be on his side so fucking much. Hey, the Lord called in in Ezekiel. He said uh, she dote after her lovers. That word dote is more than an affection. Yeah. And hey, our people, two thirds of our people, instead of hating the man that destroyed their people, still to this day, then destroyed them with drugs, science. They jabbed them up, 
and now they dropping like flies. Instead of hating this man, and, 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 you and Ben would have loved this man. You want to defend him? Hell no, nah, man. Hey, what does it look like the Lord delivering a bunch of two dirt niggas that's a bunch of basket cases? All right? You just got them insane as this damn devil. The whole head is sick, man. Yeah. Yep. I mean, hey, that's that's why it, it's gonna be good hell ridden with you niggas, man. Good hell ridden with you niggas. That's right. The scriptures say uh, pretty much a gift, a gift destroyed the heart, man. You know, you guys do. Benefits and some pleasures of this damn devil, man. And they and they can't see no wrong in them. Yeah, you know? yeah. That's why he saw he's applaud when you complain about it. He's like, nigga, complaining? Don't, don't I give you a link card? Don't you got a job? You don't you got a place to stay? You know? It's a form of gaslighting. Yeah, yeah. And the definition of gaslighting oh, yeah. is manipulate someone using psychological methods to questioning their own Ooh, sanity catch you know, or powers of reasoning. That's what they they are the masters of gaslighting. Yep. Yeah, they picked it up. Eve to pick that up and they, they just gaslight you whenever you bring it up. They try to manipulate you and think, we've done enough for you or whatever and this and that. Yeah. They try to, it's like, a, they, they, you know, they try to fuse it in the gaslight. You know yeah, yeah. They, they'll stab you and be like, well, you could have got shot. You know, they, they, they on that type of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's, why you, that's why you so applaud when you complain and point the finger at as red ass, man. All right? Yeah. You know? Guess what, man? You know, we see right through your bullshit, man. All right? That's all right. You, you want the Lord to deliver us, man. Out of your fucking hands, man. You are nothing but a goddamn devil and a fucking oppressor, man. The to say that everything's going to rejoice once your red lights happen, bitch ass be kicked off the throne. Body, how about shit me out shot, man? That's right. That's right, right. You're you going to be taken down swiftly. Man, it ain't gonna be no, you know, no long period. The Lord gonna destroy yo this kingdom in one hour. God, and uh, and what's so beautiful about it? The Lord don't even give a damn what you two third niggas think. You got a nigga talking about if he saw the king, so called white man can't make. I don't, I don't wanna make. But guess what? You're not. You gonna die with him? You right. dumb nigga. Right. Can I have this Sirach ten? This Sirach chapter ten in the GNT, the Good News translation. This Sirach chapter 10 and verse 10, it says, never trust an enemy. His wickedness is as destructive as rust. Oh. Watch out and be on guard against him. Damn. Even if he acts ever so humble, he is like a metal mirror that rusts away if you don't keep it polished. Damn. See an enemy at your right hand and the next thing you know, he'll be trying to get you your own, it's like he'll be trying to get your own place of honor, put him next to you, and he will overthrow you. So, the humble act is just to lure you in that trap. And once he got you in the trap, the boys come right back out. Mm -hmm. All right? That's how, I, that's how it goes with this devil every time, man. And this is the same devil that I always been. See, Jake think that's in the past that the devil changed. But you can't change those. <laughs> when it come down to, to your own people, they can't change. Right. And we were just talking about this in class, man, uh, uh, the other day, man, you know, how we, we were just saying, uh, uh, you know, telling brothers, like, your family members is going to be the last ones that listen to you and well, hear you out, you, you know. Yeah. That's why I scream, say, man, and I, and I accept his own, 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 own household, man. You know, they're going to be the last ones that listen to you because they seen your folly. They seen what you've done. You know, they known you your whole life. And you did a complete 180, and now you're serving the Lord, man. That's what it is. And I, I, I brought out this fact. So you telling me I can't change, I can't repent, but this devil can. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. <laughs> like it just, if I get this, uh, the last part, it says, Then you will realize the truth of my words and be stung with regret when you remember them. Nobody feels sorry for snake charmers or wild animal tamers who get bitten and nobody will feel sorry for you if you run around with sinners and get involved in their oh, own yeah, yeah. It said, it said, it said uh, who should pity a charm is bitten by a serpent, man. Mm -hmm. 
Hey, what, what's uh, that's, that's the good news translation. Oh, man, God. man that's that's a, that's hard. I ain't gonna lie, that's hard. He saw he saw create all these different uh uh uh, 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 uh versions of the Bible. Mm -hmm. Guess what? Some of the other Bibles fucking hit harder than the damn King James. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, he cutting the shit out of y'all, man. Smoking y'all ass, man. <laughs> good. Been raining their ass. <laughs> what, that what that scripture say? You can't do nothing uh, against, against, against the truth. Against the truth. That's right. See? Damn, man. Hey, that's, that's a good. That's a good scripture. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's like it, bro. What you about to say? No, nah, I was gonna say, and and that's wisdom, man. And that's that's what involved in the wisdom of the scriptures, man. They tell you not trust your enemy, man. Yeah. Uh -huh. Jake out here unwise. They in bed with the devil, literally and figuratively, man. And what's gonna happen? He's gonna deceive you. Oh, <laughs> yeah, uh, Second Corinthians chapter thirteen and eight. Well, we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. That's right. Right. So no matter what Esau try to do, try to hide things and this and that, you can't do nothing. You know, you're not in control. This is not your move, Esau. It's not your move. This is. Yeah, how old why you how old shy's movie? That's it, bro. And yeah. This is gonna this, this is gonna be a, a terrible ending for you. That's it, bro. Yeah. In the two-thirds. It's gonna be terrible. That's it, brother. Yeah, man, because he saw thinking he uh, he got to figure out how to upset this prophecy up. You ain't doing nothing but fulfilling it, man. Like you like you, you applying the plan now to get this word off the internet. <coughs> hey, the Lord gonna be let you be successful with that, because that's fulfillment of the family of work. You're mm -hmm. not you're not upset prophecy, yeah. you're fulfilling it, man. Yeah. <laughs> I got one. Jeremiah 13 and 23. Can the Ethiopian change his skin or the leper his spots? Then may he also do good that are accustomed to do evil. So that's what this, the Lord said. He created all things, even the wicked, for the day they evil. That's what the so-called That's what the so-called white man and white woman's purpose is. They was created to be the evil. They can't you can't change them. That's what they are set up to do, to be the wicked. Yeah. The word of custom is the Hebrew word Lamar, which means trained in, practicing. Yeah. So it's like a nigga, hey, you know, uh, fighters and shit, they train a specific uh, uh art. It's like a nigga literally just drilling wickedness. That's all Esau Edom knows, and that's all he does. And that's what yeah. these niggas in the man said. Esau doing something else. Nigga, Esau ain't finna do shit else but what he's always doing. Uh, well, yeah. Hate Jacob. That's it. They destroyed Jacob. Hey, destroy the earth. Destroy everything. Destroy yourself. This is Ecclesiastes 1 and 15, and it reads. It says, that which is made. Fuck you. That which is crooked cannot be made straight. Yeah, so he's a crooked devil. You can't uh, make him straight, man. All right, go ahead. It says, and that which is wanting cannot be numbered. Mm -hmm. that, that was pretty much it. Uh -huh. Yeah, so. You got a boot, push up. Buddy. It says, awesome. it's lucky. This is a uh, Proverbs 16 and uh, 9. It says, a man's heart divides his way, but the Lord directs his steps. So we got to keep in mind that these devils, yeah, they, they think that they doing this thing of their own will. You know, uh, like Elon Musk with this, uh, you know, Brain, brain neural chip. link, neural yeah. link, yeah. The neural link, man. He think that he came up this with some type of genius idea when this is all the, the works of the Lord, man. Yeah. yeah. Hey, well, uh, by your prior twenty-one one. Yeah, because yeah, he saw think he's doing this of his own accord. No, the Lord is putting is, is uh, patrolling you, making you doing doing what you're doing, man. Fulfill prophecy, man. And says they fall here on their hand. That's fulfillment of prophecy. This is uh, Proverbs 21 and 1, and it reads, it says, the king heart is in the hands of the Lord. Who's the king right now? He saw you. Lord uh, raised up the wicked, the root earth, man. And your heart goes back to the Hebrew, love, which means your mind, man. That's right. As the rivers of water, he turned in uh, wither, whithersoever, he will. But his will. How about you, how shot? Not the will of Esau, you know, man. All right. He deceived that he control his, his so, he don't, you don't, man. Right. The, the Lord directs your steps, man. Right. He control everything you do. It's nothing you can do to get around it. Yeah. So you Edomites thinking 
y'all gonna rule this earth forever, but you're not. Yeah. See, that, that's when he gonna think in his head, like, he, uh, hold on, that gold. Yeah, now that's a film of, of uh, Psalm 49 left. Ain't no getting around this, man. So, everything's fulfillment of prophecy. You right. think like that, the, it's because of the fulfillment of uh, Psalm 49 left. You ain't without thought your house should continue. Because this is Job, Job 20 and 22. In the, in the fullness of his sufficiency, he should be in stripes. Every hand of the wicked should come upon him. And the, that wicked is laborers. Everybody about to attack your ass. Yeah, yeah. Put hands on you because of all the wickedness you've been doing, man. Yeah. You're not going to get away with your wickedness, man. You know? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that strength means, that strength means resistance and difficulty. Even you try to establish your evil, wicked agenda, you're going to have problems, man. That's right. Verse 23. When he is about to fill his belly, the most high power of God should cast the fury of his wrath upon him mm. and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. So he gonna think he got everything in place. Think he gonna have his MOTB set up all, all perfectly. But then the Lord gonna strike his ass, man. You ain't right. getting away. You about to get touched, boy. Right. You know, y'all not gonna, ain't nothing you gonna be able to do to stop what the hell about some y'all shot gonna do to y'all at? You're not getting out of this. Yeah. Verse 24. He shall flee from the iron weapon and the bow of steel should strike him through and them no miss. You're gonna get burnt up. A lot of you Edomites are gonna die here in America. You're not gonna get away from the destruction yeah. in the midst of World War III. And you're gonna come back through, through, through the, the, the elites that survive because they're going to be the first ones going to slavery. You're going to come back through them and be straight into slavery. Exactly. Y'all going to have continuous work in the kingdom of heaven. That's right. right. Ain't going to be no, you ain't going to have to not worry about work. You're going to work to the bone, you Edomites, you so-called white people. You're going to work. You're going to build our heaven. That's right. Uh -huh. just, like, hey, just like these people did, build your wicked ass heaven. That's right. That's right. But Esau got the knowledge on the construction system. Concrete, how to build and all this shit, you gonna have to use it, man. Yeah. And they be blackballing Jake. Jake can't get the look of certain jobs and shit. Yeah, so, yeah, you know, yeah. it's gonna hey, it 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 to work. Yeah, you know and that's, and that's yeah. the Lord telling the blackball Lord, Jake so you can get your skills on so you can be prepared to yeah, build, prepared. build 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 yeah. our, our, our kingdom. Right. Oh, yeah. That's right. This is uh, second oh, time. Oh, Verse 25. It is drawn and come out of the body. Yea, the glittering sword come out of his gall and terror upon him. Because that's what them things, them things I'm saying, they open up with the, with the missile coming out. That's, that's what it's talking about, man. And it's going to smite you, man. That sword, that glittering sword, that's that that's that missile. So you're not going to escape what your how about you mean shot going to do to you devils, man. Right. You have to pay. You have to get burnt up. All darkness should be hid in the in his secret places. A fire not blown should consume him. It should come ill with him that is left in his tabernacle. And the, 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 all them other the meat eating mice that get killed here, like you said, the Malites, like the elder was saying, the Malites gonna be the first one to go into slavery. This cause they think they not gonna get burnt up. They're gonna get their ass dragged out of them caves. And you're going to work for the men of the Lord of so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You're going to work for us, man. Right. We're going to be the rulers of the earth. Right. You damn devils and you other nations. Nah. You're not going to escape from the judgment. No, no, no. <coughs> yeah, yeah. This is uh, Thessalonians 1 and 6. It says, Seeing, that, it's like it. Seeing it is a righteous thing with Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. So recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. Damn, so the Lord's with it, pretty much. He's with the payback. Yep. And it, it ain't gonna be going off either, man. It's a, it's a righteous thing, man. Yeah. See, you see that? See, you dealt with your hip, hypocritical bullshit's gonna be over with, man. That's why scripture says joy the hypocrite is but for a moment. You ain't had no problem on the shit you did, but when it get put back on you, now it's the issue. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, I, come on, man. I was. Long time ago, man. Come on, man. We brothers now. Well, guess what? That birthright long time ago. You still holding on to that. Yeah. You see? You, you correct. You was our brother, but when had you been a brother? Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you been slaughtering us and killing us for all these years. Yeah. 
Yeah, this dude don't let let go of shit. But you supposed to let go of what he did, what he did to you. You yeah. supposed to forgive and forget, man. All right. The hell, the fuck you, goddamn devil. Exactly. False balance is abomination to the Lord, man. That's right, man. That's why I get over by you. And um, start at Obadiah chapter 1 verse 10 For thy violence against thy brother Jacob's chain shame shall cover thee and thou shalt be cut off forever but yeah man on that violence against what you did to your your brother Jacob you're gonna get that devil fold man cause guess what you, you right we, we all brothers you right why would you do your brother yeah, yeah. it shows you how hypocritical the devil's are man slaughtered us you didn't give a damn about us you left us hanging on trees Strange. Yep. the scriptures talk about that man Y'all did all that shit to us, man. Had dogs eating us, dragging us about y'all cars. You devils gonna pay for that. All the lynching you did to our people. You think y'all gonna get away with it? The Lord said he gonna get the whole nation of Edom. All of you so-called white people. Every last one of you gonna pay. In the day that thou stoodest on the other side, in the day that the strangers carried away captive his forces, and foreigners entered into his gates and cast lots upon Jerusalem, even thou wast as one of them. Exactly, you did that then, man. 70 AD, y'all forget about that. But, but, but guess what? All of these things are gonna come back on you now, man. That's right, you're gonna turn upon your old head, that's what you say. And by fact, Lord already ha always ha already have been doing that, man. You put drugs in the community, now you damn devil's on drugs. Or if you all types of shit. Man. Good. See, Good. everything you try to do to, to the Lord's people, it always it comes back and bites you in the ass, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you devil too stupid to figure that out yet, man. But thou shouldest not have looked on the day of thy brother in the day that he became a stranger. Neither shouldest thou have rejoiced over the children of Judah in the day of their destruction, neither shouldest thou have spoken proudly in the day of distress. Exactly, man. Y'all was speaking, on, talking a whole lot of cash shit. A lot of cash shit about uh, what happened to us, man. But guess what? Now it's gonna come back to you. You're not gonna get away with what you did. And this is this is payback, big payback. Hey, um, skip to, um, you still got that over that? Skip to uh, verse 17 and read down to 21. Because this is what's got to come to you. But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. So we gonna possess our possessors. So you, the ones, the ones who possessed us are gonna be possessed. So we gonna have y'all in slavery. That's what the Bible talk about. You people don't read the Bible. Y'all don't understand. Y'all think the kingdom of heaven gonna just be in some out of space somewhere. No, it's gonna be here on earth. And these devils are gonna be possessed over people. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them and there shall not be any remaining in the house of Esau, for the Lord hath spoken it, it, and they of the south shall possess the mount of Esau, and they of the plain, the Palestines, and they shall possess the field of Ephraim, and the field of Samaria, and Benjamin shall possess Gilead, Gilead, and the- Jose, man, you devils, y'all gonna get, y'all gonna get, after we get all our shit, that we that we rightfully own for the value y'all about you now, Jack. We gonna we gonna eradicate y'all. Y'all gonna get burnt up in the furnace. We gonna get rid of you Edomites after y'all thousand years of slavery and hey, stuff. Well, yeah. that's an example of some return upon your own head. You try to do it to these people. Guess what? The Lord's gonna have it done to you. Man. 
Exactly. Good. All you're going to be thinking about after your slavery is up, you're going to die still. And, and, <laughs> and guess what? They, after a thousand years, they're going to they be fighting each other and jumping that fire, man. So we're going to put them through so much hell, they, they won't be able to, they, they, they're going to be like to the point, I can't wait to a thousand years to, to go. Spiritual yeah. Exactly, man. Uh, yeah, keep going. And the captivity of his host of the children of Israel shall possess that of the Canaanites even unto Zarephath, and the captivity of Jerusalem, which is in Sephrad, shall possess the cities of the south. And the Savior shall come up on Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau, and the kingdom shall be the Lord's. Exactly, man. And the Saviors are going to judge. The Mount of Esau in the um, yeah, through the power of your house, I'll shoot me out with shots. So who are them saviors? The elect. And we're gonna judge y'all ass. Y'all not getting away with nothing. And we and we taking y'all shit. We taking Mount Petra. We taking all y'all shit. Y'all don't get shit, man. Well, guess what? They not gonna be around no one. Exactly. Who else, who else gonna get? <laughs> exactly, man. We just gotta say it in your face. We taking your shit. How you nigger. took our shit, we taking your shit now. Red nigger. <laughs> Coming for you, nigga. It's Revelation 2 and 25. But that which ye have already hold fast till I come. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works until the end, to him will I give power over the nations. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. As the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father. All right, man. You, you devil's about to get that rod of arm put on y'all ass. Do, do, do you know what a rod of arm feel like to get hit with? That's going to hurt, man. We're going to be beating y'all ass with it every day. This not on the Sabbath. With the Sabbath, it's going to take forever to come. Because with the day, it's going to go back to a long. That thousand years is going to be long as hell. It's going to feel like 5,000 years, maybe 10,000. Oh, yeah. It's going to be long and slow. You think that thousand years going to feel short? Hell no. Nah. The Lord going to put time how it's supposed to be. Long day. So it's going to be shining for a long time, man. This Psalm 73 and 1. Truly the Most High is good to Israel, even to such as are as of a clean heart. This Psalms 137. Uh, we'll, 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 37 uh, Man, I was to change. When we are bound in kings, that's uh, eight times a while. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bound in kings is uh, 148. 148, yeah. No, 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 149. Oh, yeah, yeah. 149. This Psalm chapter 149 in verse, if I can start at one. <laughs> praise ye Yahweh, sing unto Yahweh a new song, yeah. and his praise in the congregation of the saints. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praises unto him with the timbre and the heart. For Yahweh take a pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. Mm. And the meek is the lowly, those that's down. And that's the Negro, Latino, Native American. That's what that salvation is coming to. It says, verse 5, Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. The bed represents rest. Which, he, which represents the kingdom of heaven. Yeah, that's when you're going to get your rest. Yep. You don't have no rest here as long as you're under this goddamn devil. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Let the high praises of the Most High be in their mouth and a two-edged two sword, sword in, in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron to execute upon them the judgment written. This honor have all his saints Praise ye the Lord. In Revelation the 13th chapter, it says, Here's the faith and the patience of the saints. Yep. To, um, uh, uh, so like, uh, can you grab really quick? He oh, that yeah, leadeth lead into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here's that, the patience of faith of the saints. And that's what we're looking for. All the nations that destroyed us, that it took us uh, captive, right. that it licked our swords, kicked us while we was down. We waiting on our Lord and Savior, Yahweh shall to come back and deliver us and give us that power and to put you in change. That's right. Change. Select. I got another one really quick. This Isaiah chapter 60, 
and verse 10, it says, And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, and their kings shall minister unto thee. And that's speaking of you heathen nations. It says, And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, and their kings shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor if I had mercy on thee. And that's that favor that the Lord is going to show. That's right. He's going to bless his people with salvation, bring us back to our land, set us up, make us perfect, that's right. and give us slaves. Who are the slaves? You are the nations. It says, verse 11, Therefore thy gate shall be open continually, and they shall not be shut day nor night, that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles, that their kings may be brought for the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. And these are prophecies in the Holy Scriptures that haven't happened yet. But they're happening really soon. You see? That's right. I got some more there. Come on. Verse 13, it says, The glory of Lebanon shall come upon thee, the fir tree, the pine tree, and the box together, because when we, when we get back in the land, the Lord going to bless us, man. We're going to have an abundance of everything, man. That's right. I'm talking about custom, custom craftsmanship, you know, all type of different oaks and cedar and beautiful works of art. And, and it all, hey, the riches, everything, right? It says, The box together to beautify the place of my sanctuary, and I will make the place of my feet glorious. The sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee, and all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet, and they shall call thee the city of Yahweh, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Whereas thou hast been forsaken and hated, so that no man went through thee, I will make thee an eternal excellency, a joy of many generations. The Lord is going to beautify his people, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. You see? I got one more verse now. It says, Thou shalt also suck the milk of the Gentiles, and shall suck the breast of kings, and thou shalt know that I, Yahweh, am thy Savior, and thy Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. You see? So that's what's to come, man. You people can argue at it. You can still believe what you want to believe in. But the prophecies of the Heavenly Father are still going to take place. The Lord is going to save His people, and the rest of you nations going to change. Right. It's all Revelation chapter 18 verse 6 It says reward her Even as she rewarded you And double it to her double According to her works And the cup which she had filled Filled it to her double right, So that's what we're going to do to your ass man All the shit you did to us We're going to do to you double man Hmm? Yep, you gotta get double. Hey, somebody get uh, prepared slaughter. But they give me, y'all gonna get it, man. You Edomites ain't gonna get away with nothing no more. All of this stuff y'all doing, you know, this 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 is not gonna happen. Why you get that on police? Huh? This is uh this is Habakkuk 2 and verse 3 it says, For the vision is yet for appointed time. But at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. And it will not tarry, you know. So you gotta, you gotta, you gotta keep in mind, man. You know, these things, just, you know, it's taking the time of, you know, in this course, it, it will happen, you know. Slark you. Uh, it, it, it's gonna happen, but uh. So speaking to you, Negroes, Latinos, and you so-called Native Americans, this is uh, this is a uh, Sarah. This is Ecclesiastes, also known as Sarah five and seven. It says, make no tarrying. Turning to the Lord, and put off, put not off day to, uh, day to day, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy, secu in thy security thou shalt be destroyed, and perish in the day of vengeance. That's right, man. So you want to be on the right hand side, man. You don't, you don't want to be no two third, man. You want to be ho hopefully you know, a part of the lake, man. You know. All right, because it said in y'all security y'all gonna be destroyed. So you think you got all this food stored up, all these guns? I got my AK. I'm about to ride on these niggas. I'm about to ride on my enemies or whatever. Nah. Niggas about to get y'all ass smoked. Y'all about to be Swiss cheese, man. Yeah. Exactly, man. So all that stuff you think is gonna protect you is not gonna protect you. And the day of Yahweh was shot. Hey, Yahweh shot said he, he'll ride for the fire to kindle already. Before he did. 
Somebody uh, grab that and hold it on deck. Um, yeah, um, I think it's a, I don't think it's a Yeah, yeah. Read that now. It's Isaiah chapter 14, verse 21. It says, prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. So yeah, man, you're going to get cut off. You're not, that's what... Yeah, how about Shimmy Al-Shah is going to do? He's going to pre prepare slaughter for you, devil. So, hey, man, hey, the, the Lord going to make it roll. Y'all going to be shooting y'all guns at us. Bullets going to be bouncing off of you. We're going to be smoking y'all ass. Boo! Boo! Like uh, that, that one, that um, video the brother put together with the spiritual battle. I don't know that hero with the uh, the red cape. I think I it's know. invisible or something like that. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. Like, this is the dude invisible. Invisible. He was fucking them all, them all people up, man. Omni-Man. 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 Yeah, man. Omni-Man. Yeah, he was smoking their ass, man. Ripping them apart. Yeah, Black Adam. Now, Black, Black Adam was getting their ass. Man, that's when he smashed heads and shit. We've been that person that, uh, I did. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 22. It says, For I will rise up against them, saith the Lord of hosts, and cut off from Babylon the name and the remnant and son and nephew, saith the Lord. Fine, man. He's going to cut them all off. So, man, every, uh, your whole lineage is about to be wiped away. You ain't going to have nothing good. <laughs> so, it ain't going to be no more Esau. Now. First of all, this kingdom going to be gone. It's, it's going to be burnt up. So, what are you going to have? Shit. <laughs> Nothing. You gonna be in the dirt. You know what you gonna have? A hole to sleep in. Open, open wounds. Right, yeah, right. man. That's what you gonna be sleeping. Y'all gonna be coming out of the ground to go to work. Oh yeah. I'm gonna be yeah. busting off y'all ass in the jaw <laughs> soon. That's y'all come out. Bye. Y'all, you here? Since y'all like to be a house to house, y'all gonna be bunched up. You know, get stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <I'm> real. <laughs> Hitting y'all ass and y'all shit. Hey, did they uh have us motherfucking bunched up in them slave ships? Yeah. Y'all yeah. yeah. always gonna be bunched up. Yeah. And on the Sabbath day, the animals still gonna fuck with you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We gonna be resting, but they gonna be fucking y'all up. Scorpions and shit. Yeah. Slagging your mind. Yeah, you, you thought it was. You burnt yeah. bur bridge and we even had them. Damn, yeah. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody fucks with right here. He's either speaking, he's speaking his truth, right? Oh, right, right. right. Two-year-old yeah. Tyler sentenced to life in prison after parents were caught with a Bible in North Korea. Good. Damn. <laughs> Maybe probably. Yeah, but wait, 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 wait. Hold on. A two-year-old Tyler sentenced to life in prison after parents were caught with a Bible in North Korea. Because yeah, they banned the Bible. Damn. Damn. They said, I read that article. They said uh, Christians, I looked at basically as dangerous people. You know, yeah. so if you believe in anything, they basically lock you up. Now that 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 may be like propaganda or maybe fact. Right. You no, know, but it is gonna be a persecution for those that believe in these words, man. Yeah, man. Chiefly the ones that know the truth, but they even you regular Christians, man. You know? Yeah, that's fake thinking. Exactly, man. Hey man, it's just it's open here for you. Yeah. Verse 49. I am come to send fire on the earth. And what will it fuck it? And what will I if it already be kindled? Exactly, man. And he, he ready for he ready for everything to be cracking while he's here. He ready to bust him in. So he ready to come and act like coming off the motherfucking uh, spaceship. Coming out of the, the chariot, like what's up? Come on.
Shimmy out shot is about to about to rain hell on this place, man. That's right. So you're not getting away with anything. None of y'all, not even you people back then. Then cause um, oh man, that was 2000. Them niggas is back too. Guess what? And they hey, gonna get that. And he gonna be he gonna be looking for their ass. You know? He coming. He got a special bandana against them, man. Yeah. Now they're last one. Exactly, man. Cause them motherfuckers have it. Or well, jabbing him, right? You niggas, he, he got something in store for him. He ain't gonna kill y'all quick either, man. I know, I know y'all was shot gonna have some fun. He gonna have some good fun. He might chop your head off, put it back on your body. Live. <laughs> <laughs> Hit your shit on, boom, put it back on. Right. Boom. It's, it's like body part. It's like bad practice. I know, right? It's fucking you up, man. This ain't, it ain't no game, man. Everybody gonna see, man. When he come out of them uh, chariots. Everybody has a war waiting for them, whether it be a good war or, or evil war. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, it's a, Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 8. Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, until the day that I rise up against the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations, that I may assemble the kingdoms, and pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger. For all the earth shall be devoured with fire of my jealousy. Exactly, man. So this, this place about to be devoured by the fire of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh's jealousy. Why? Why? Why is he so jealous? Because all of you niggas is following other gods. Right. That's why you gonna get burnt up here, man. Y'all wanna worship? Y'all wanna worship everything but the truth. Right. Everybody believes something but the truth, man. Because what well, comes with serving Lord, the scripture say, prepare your soul for temptation. Now, now you gotta deal with accountability. All that. Jake tried to avoid it. That's why they won't serve the Lord. They'd rather serve anything else but that, man. Hey, you know what the scriptures say, uh, so if you serve the Lord, we had it on all things. The so Lord requires patience. He requires you to suffer, you know, and all that, man. Jake, Joy and Jake, they don't want to deal with it. That's right. Oh, this is, uh, this is Hebrews 10 and 31, and it reads, it is a fearful thing to fall in the hands of the living power. You know, you got to, and this goes out to you, and he goes back to you know, these so-called Native Americans, man. The Lord ain't nothing to play with. The prophets ain't nothing to play with, man. You yeah, gotta man. keep keep them out. The Lord is saying, saying brothers, this job, man. You don't go to you don't go to the work uh workplace, work, workplace and go, go go fuck with the manager. Like you, you fuck with the employees. You gotta keep in mind, man. This is this is not no game. This is, Serious. Hey, they gotta know who they're dealing with, man. That's hey, right. we quoted it. My people are foolish, they have not known me. The heavenly father that judged the earth and flooded it with water the first time saved eight people. He, he said that this present heaven, this earth, this age, this rulership is reserved unto fire. Uh -huh. And he tells you hey, plainly if you got eyes to see what that fire is, man. You see? Hey, this the same power that judged Sodom and Gomorrah for their perverse way of living, man. And guess what? This place surpassed that, man. You see? Yeah. And the scriptures say through the uh, fear of the Lord, we persuade men. That's right. Hey, knowing what the Lord is going to do, you open the earth, had, had Jake get swallowed up. Mm -hmm. Hey, rain, fire from heaven. Hey, all manner of things. It says there be spirits created for vengeance 
you know, roughly fair. I think it's around 35 like gravity. But, you know, it's around 39. Next month, Pride Month too, but you know, that's neither here nor there. This Ciroc chapter 39 and verse 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sword strokes. In a time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Mm. Fire and hell and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. It's created by your how about shoot me out shot and help me follow. That's right. It said, uh, what was it? Uh, read that kid say, uh, please with the wrath of him that made them. Yeah, it's, it's the next verse. Yeah. And continue on. It's like the, the previous verse too. It says, which in their fury lay on sword strokes. In a time of destruction, they poured out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Fire and hell and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance, teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. They shall rejoice in his commandment and they shall be ready upon earth when, the, when need is and when their time has come, they shall not transgress his word. And that's the God that we're dealing with, the God of the Israelites, man. The, 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 the living power, the true power that judges people, man. It's another one that's around. Uh, it says, um, all these created for, uh, for their sake came the flood. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, I'm not 40. talking about uh, death, strife. Mm -hmm. Thank you. This is Rock chapter 40 and verse 10. It's like now. This Sirach chapter 40 and verse 8, it says, Such things happen unto all flesh, both man and beast, and that is sevenfold more upon sinners, death and bloodshed, strife and sword, calamities, famine, tribulation, and the scourge. These things are created for the wicked, and for their sakes came the flood. And that new flood is going to be a flood of fire, man. To punish you for for uh, for, hey, for every man for what their works have been. Romans the second chapter says some men have been laboring. I'm gonna grab it real quick. It's not a fact. Because everyone is gonna get rewarded for their works. This this Romans chapter two and verse five. I start at four. It says, "Or despises thou the riches of his goodness and forbearance and long suffering." Not knowing that the goodness of the Most High leadeth thee to repentance. Mm. But after thy hardness and impenitent heart, treasure up unto thyself wrath against the day of wrath and revelation of the righteous judgment of the Most High. This are the Lord's mercies that he opened up our mind to acknowledge that this is the truth. Uh, to give us that chance of salvation, right? That's right. But it says, um, verse, I have verse 5, but after thy hardness and impenitent heart, Jake don't want to repent, don't want to follow the Lord. It says, treasure up unto thyself wrath against the dead wrath. You're getting the Lord more and more angry at you, right? It says, in it's like against the day of wrath and revelation of the righteous judgment of the Most High, who will render to every man according to his deeds, to them who by patient continuance and well-doing seek for glory and honor and immortality, eternal life. But unto them that are contentious and do not obey the truth, but obey unrighteousness, indignation and wrath, tribulation and anguish upon every soul of man that doeth evil of the Jew first and also of the Gentile. Point being, hey, hey, to those that's participating in his well doing, seeking repentance here in these last days, and forwarding Yahshua Allah, he prince of the power, hey, hey, uh, uplifting Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai, that's patiently waiting on that salvation. They're going to receive that reward. 
that salvation, that deliverance, hey, that immortality. But for those that want to mock, want to talk shit, want to scoff, want to act like they ain't hear the prophets, want to act like they ain't see the prophets, deny the faith, deny the heavenly father, a hey, death anguish burning, a hey, hey, fire brimstone. And that's if you get it, that's if you get that long. Oh, yeah. 144. Yeah. You might just get raped. You might just get hey, beat up. You might just get hey, torn to pieces. Hey, a, a day. You might just see an uh, apparition to give up the ghost. Right. That's right. Yeah, hey, the Heavenly Father is terrible. Hey, he was once known as uh, 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 Alishadium, yes. uh, with terrible demon like power. Yeah. And hey, that, that was one, that's like a, a name for him. That's like a reputation, so to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, he had different titles, man. The Lord has smoked your ass, man. He, he sent the angel to wipe out half, how, I forget how many people. A lot of, a lot of, yeah. he, he, he sent one angel and killed what it was. 70,000. 70,000, man. Yes. One angel with one hit. Y'all know the power of y'all about something. They said one angel, one angel could destroy the whole earth. That's Jude. That's Jude. Where you, where you think they get that in Dragon Ball Super? Fucking Beerus destroying the whole fucking planet with one smoke, one, one, just one shot. Right. Tap the planet, had the planet destroyed. Exactly. <laughs> just tap that planet. Yeah, man. That's hey, man. Yeah, how about Shumel Shad not gonna play with him? He rain hell on this place, man. This place going to go down, man. America is finished. Anybody who think America going to go on for another 10 years, you out of your goddamn mind. Right. You said you silly. The dollar is done. Ain't nothing going to be left here. You're going to die here. Yep. And it can happen in a matter of months. Your grandkids. Not years, going. months. That's right. Everything here that you ever loved and built here, especially you so-called white people, it's done. It's over with. This is uh, this is uh, Psalm seven and ten. It says, "My defense is of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh which saves the upright in heart, and Yahweh judges the righteous, and Yahweh is angry with the wicked every day." It says, "If he turn not." He wet his sword and he have bent his bow and made it ready. So man, you know, for you Negroes, Latinos, you so-called Native Americans, man. But turn away from things you learn from this world, man. Because hey, the Lord got some the Lord got something perfectly designed for you. Con, con, which is those which is those nuclear missiles, man. That's why it says, you know, I, uh wet, he wet his bow. And uh, bent his, sorry, he bent his bow and made it ready. He got the, got the missiles in line, uh, lined up for you, man. Uh, do y'all 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 got any uh, more scriptures? Cause this was this we gonna close it on this piece. All right, go ahead. This Second Peter chapter three and verse one. This second epistle, beloved. I now write unto you, and both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance, that ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets, and of the commandment, and of us, the apostles of the Lord and Savior, knowing this first, that there shall come in the last day scoffers, walking after their own lust, and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. Yep. All right. Cause hey, all we tell we telling you right now. We spare we stirring up y'all pure minds, which is the elect that's gonna wake up. Coming back to the way of remembrance, why you two third ass niggas scoffing? That's right. Talking mess. But but that's fine. We doing our job. You know. This Second Peter chapter three and verse five. For this they are willingly ignorant of. That by the word of God, the heavens were of old and the earth standing out of the water and in the water. So they willingly, they willingly ignorant of this destruction that's about to come. You two third ass niggas, so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Y'all, y'all, y'all think it's a game, man. But y'all ain't 
man, how much you know shots is gonna rain hell, man? You refuse to listen. I know, man. He's with me. That let, let him be great. Man. <laughs> did, did, did. <laughs> okay. The second Peter three and six, whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished, but the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. Exactly, because the, the earth had flooded before. Like y'all was just bringing out earlier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how about Shemel Shai killed everybody on the planet and left only eight people. Mm -hmm. Now he about to burn this bitch. See, y'all don't think the Lord play, y'all think the Lord a game or something. Mm -hmm. Like it's all funny games. No, he about to burn this place now. Yeah, just because he and judge you right away for your wicked. Exactly, man. Uh, wicked words is executed immediately. Exactly. You're not gonna get away with your wickedness, man. Yeah, how about Shimmy Al Shah is about to erase y'all ass, man? This second Peter 3 and verse 8. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. As some count slackness, because y'all count it slack, like it ain't gonna happen. Oh, that's gonna happen another 30 years from now, another 100 years. That's y'all niggas. We see the prophecies, we see what's going on. That's right. We we know that Yahweh Bashim Yah Shai is near. We feel it in the air. You can feel it. You feel the vibration of everything changing here. That's how you know the Heavenly Father is coming back. That's right. He about to burn this place, man. And y'all think it's a game. Riding around thinking it's not, nothing about to happen. But he about to rain hell on this place. Think about all the gases and shit they be having, letting out. That shit just gonna be sparking more sparks to the flame. Exactly. Oh yeah, man. It's gonna, oh man. That, the missile is hot along, like you said. It's gonna burn. This place gonna be a desert. Yeah. Literally. Right. Second Peter 3 and verse 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to us work, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. So you don't have an excuse. Yeah, how about Shimmy Al Shai gave you two third ass niggas a chance to get right, and guess what y'all did? You followed after your own lust. Yeah, that's why scriptures say uh, that is no hope for their sins. Right, no, you've been. Lord, uh, Ben told you what you off on, man. You refused to uh, repent and you ignore it, man. Exactly. Oh, man. Make it up, bro. Man. That's Wally, folks. That's Wally. I'm talking about the bed. Oh, man. It ain't even five places on that, bro. You see, it's both dead, man. The second Peter 3 and verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. So everybody works gonna be burnt up. It's not gonna be in remembrance. Michael Jordan, none of these niggas. Little Wayne, right. and none, none of them gonna be remembered in the kingdom of heaven. Like we was just talking about even niggas right now who not being remembered, like Kevin Garnett. He was a good hooper, but he ain't being remembered. Ain't nobody really talk about Kevin Garnett right now. Ain't nobody talk about Ray Allen. Man. Exactly, man. Ain't nobody thinking about these niggas. Not, exactly. <laughs> The only ones still being talked about is the sellouts. Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, LeBron. You know? mm. so, good God knows. Keep going. This 2 Peter 3 and verse 11. 
seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought you to be? <clears throat> it's like it says, look, seeing, it's like, let me start again. It's 2 Peter 3 and 11. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? So how you gonna hold your conduct? You know, that's what that conversation going to, your conduct. How you, is you gonna get right with your hell boss and your shot? What are you gonna do in that day? Is you gonna be thug dealing? Is you gonna be out here on the highways and the byways? Is you gonna be putting videos up week in, week out? Is you gonna do your own personal reading? Is you gonna do your own personal fasting? Is you gonna do your own personal praying? What are you gonna do when the day you get hell boss and your shot? Before you come, man, what are you gonna do, man? Second Peter 3 and 12, looking for and hastening until the coming of the day of the Most High, where the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless. Exactly, and that's what we hope and we ain't got no spots on us, man. We hope that we, you know, the Lord, look at us as the one Yeah, yeah, we hope we have we hope we be them un unblemished lambs, man. You know, without that spot on us, man. Yeah, how about Shemel Shah Rough is out? You know? That's what we hoping, man. We looking forward to that, man. You know, so hey man, hopefully, hey, um, that happens, man. So uh Taj Mike comes out. That being said. Give all praise and all honor to Yahweh. Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, Hashem, Rakadash. Next, we're gonna give double honors into the apostles of Great Millstone, the ones who taught us the hundred percent truth according to the Bible and rule well. Shalom. 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 Shalom.